Well, we've actually put in place just over £3 billion worth of transitional protection, so nobody transferring from legacy benefits onto UC will be worse off. What and about the new claimants? And, and the principle of UC will be that anybody on UC, for the first time, for every extra hour they work, they will be better off removing the cliff edges of 16 hours, 24 hours, 30 hours, <coughs> removing the effective tax rate of 90% for some claimants under tax credits. UC is dynamic. It responds in real time. It also avoids, with the old tax credit, system of people having to be assessed annually, having been overpaid and then having to try and find a way to then repay the overpayment because the system wasn't responsive enough. UC is supported by the work coaches, they're very enthusiastic about it, but we are aware this is the single biggest change to welfare, which is why we are taking our time. We are looking at only migrating about 10,000 people next year on a test and learn process and we've already made significant changes at last year's budget rightly we announced the removal of the seven day waiting time uh, that we if you are transferring over from a legacy benefit and you are entitled to housing support you get an additional no strings attached two weeks of housing benefit money to use we automatically and this was a major change and a key change we automatically advise all claimants of the ability to have advance payments previously what was happening is you had to ask but a lot of vulnerable people didn't know that existed so didn't ask and that's what was causing people to unintentionally find themselves in in financial difficulty that is now automatically done and we continue to work very very closely with stakeholder groups to get the feedback from their users advice from their policy teams and we will continue to make changes where we feel it will make a difference